walking. An action most Homo sapiens have perfected. Unfortunately, animating walking is a little bit of a different story. Something like this can be caused by a lack of understanding in the basics of human movement. This tutorial will teach on how to animate walking, running, and walking again, but in R15. Why don't I explain how to do running in R15 as well? Well, you see, that is because when I was writing the script for this video, I fell and accidentally hit my keyboard and bought the communist city skylines, and I wasn't able to put it down for the past 20 days. And because of that, I did not have any time to make this video. But in any case, sit down and give me watch time so that I can buy an expensive car and inflate my fragile ego. To begin, let's insert a character. I will be inserting my character through the Moon Animator Character Inserter. I think it is also important to mention that you can insert a character from the Roblox Rig Builder and it will function the same way. Next I'm just gonna open up Moon Animator and I'm gonna make a quick animation and add the character into the animation. Now there's gonna be three stages of the walk cycle. Let's make the first stage. First thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna kinda wanna angle his torso just a little bit. Now for this like I'm just gonna kinda rotate it like that uh, and then we're gonna move it a little bit more forward. So kind of like that. And now for this back one we will just rotate it back. Now for the arms we're gonna actually face them in the direction where its corresponding leg is facing. So in this example as you can see the left arm is facing the same direction as the left leg and the same thing for the right arm. Now let's make the second position for the walk cycle. I'm going to move this line just a little bit right here, it can always be adjusted later. And basically what we want to do is we want to reverse this. So this leg is going to go back here and this leg is gonna be forward just like we did it for uh, the first time and just gonna move the arms back here. I'm just gonna add keyframes, these missing keyframes over here. And we're gonna move this line to the middle in between the two um, stages, I guess you could say. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna move the torso just a little bit upwards. And then, uh, as you can see, this right leg right here, it is moving forwards, right? So we're gonna wanna... When you walk, you lift up uh, the foot that is behind you and then you place it forward. So this is kind of the action that we want to imitate. What we're gonna do with this leg, and remember, it's the leg that is moving forward that you do this to. So we're gonna just kind of rotate it like that and we're gonna move it like this. And there we go. Uh, if we want to loop it, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna copy these key keyframes at the very beginning. And we're gonna place them here. Now we can also copy this keyframe from the torso going up. So kind of have this and now we just gotta do the same thing we did with the right leg over here. So we'll just kind of move it up a little bit, rotate it like that. And here we go. We can press the loop option and the animation will be looped. So here you have a full walk animation cycle. Now, let's say you weren't making this animation for a game, maybe you wanted to make a video and you just want to have the guy walk a little bit of a distance. So how do we do that? It is actually really similar to this with just one key difference. So I'm going to delete all these keyframes and we're going to start at the very beginning. We're going to move our line right about here and we're going to press B on our keyboard and that will bring the onion skin. Now the onion skin feature is only for Moon Animator and you can't really do that with the Roblox built-in animator so that is something to keep in mind. Uh, the reason why we brought up this onion skin is so that we can position this leg right on the edge right here so that should be good. And we're basically gonna do the exact same thing with reversing his legs to the other position and here we go now 
to remove the onion skin, you can press B again and it will remove the onion skin. And Verge is gonna move his leg here again, like that, and also move up the torso just a little bit. Remember, try to not overdo it so that his legs are at least touching the ground. And here we go, you know, he, he kind of went for a walk. Now it doesn't really seem like he's going up in that middle stage right here. So what we can do is at the, the end and at the beginning, we can try to lower him down a little bit. So now he kind of goes up like that. Now, if you want him to walk more than one step, you're going to have to repeat this process for every single step that your character makes. And it can be quite frustrating, which is why I always try to avoid doing this. But now you know how to do it if you need to do it. Now, I think it's safe uh, to say that we're ready to move on to... Animating running is actually quite similar to animating walking. Uh, you already know the drill. Uh, we have the keyframes at the beginning, the middle, and the end, so let's just set it up. Now, one thing that I do want to point out is we're going to angle his torso a lot more than we did for the first one. And position his head like that. Now, here's what we're actually going to do with the arms. This is going to be really interesting. What we're actually going to do is we're going to move it down a little bit and then kind of rotate it like that. Maybe even rotate it like this a little bit. And then the other one can be like this. There we go. So this is kind of the position that we're going for. It's really similar to the walk cycle. Next, let's make the second position, which basically means we're just going to reverse everything. Now for the arms, I do want to point out, we moved this one a little bit downwards, but this one stayed in place. So what we're actually going to have to do is we're going to have to move it kind of back to its original position. And then we're just going to kind of rotate this one back. Oops, kind of rotate it back like that. Uh, and for this one, we're just going to want to do the exact same thing we did for the first one. So like this. Yeah, so kind of like that. Now let's do the middle part. We're gonna want to lift them up a little bit and then just basically do this exact same thing we've had done prior. And here we go. So this kind of how the cycle looks like. Now Admittedly, it doesn't really look like he's running, so what we're actually going to want to do is we're going to want to bring these keyframes a lot closer together. Remember, the closer together the keyframes are, the faster the animation will play. So, we're going to get them a little closer together. That's still a bit too slow for my liking, so let's expand the view a little bit and get them a little more closer. Oh, too fast, that's way too fast. There we go, that's something that I can work with. Just a really simple walk cycle. This can obviously be improved, this is just a really basic walk cycle I made in like two minutes. Another thing that you can also try to do is try to maybe angle his torso a little bit right here for example. We can angle it like this, and then at this stage we can angle it a little this way and basically repeat the same thing again. So it kind of looks like this. Oh yeah, way better. Another thing to keep in mind is you can add uh, acing styles to these, uh, but generally you wanna try to avoid doing that, especially for the torso. Avoid adding acing styles to the torso, try to keep it linear. Uh, however, the few things that you can add acings to would probably be arms, and then the uh, the head, so you could try to add acing styles to the arms and see if it makes it look better. Oh yeah, I like this a lot more. Uh, we don't want to add acing styles to the legs because if we do that, I'm gonna show you what will happen. So, say we add acing styles to the legs, we made it sign and out. So, uh, it just it looks a bit wrong, he kind of like pauses when he walks, which is unnatural. So, and just looks 
a lot smoother and better when it, the legs are in linear and the torso as well. So yeah, that is pretty much it on R6, walking and running, so let's move on to... Oh boy, here it comes. I really don't like animating R15. Uh, and actually, I haven't really animated for a really long time, so let's see how bad I am at this. With R15, it's actually a lot of the same thing. The only difference is you just have more limbs to work with. So, we're gonna select the lower torso right here and just kind of move them down a little bit. And we're gonna want to try to keep the lower torso stationary, so we're gonna keep it in place. And we can actually rotate the upper torso, so that we can give it that signature angle and for the legs we're just gonna move this upper part like that and then this part like this maybe a little bit less something like that yeah and for the back one we'll just do like this and maybe like that so I mean it's basically the same thing as R6 it's just you have more limbs to work with and also one note for beginners I do recommend starting with R6 it's far easier so here we go, we have positioned him for the first, uh, let's say, position of the walk cycle. As you can see, instead of the leg just being like this, it instead goes up like that and then down here like this. Same thing for the leg back here, and just keep that in mind. I'm just gonna add keyframes here, just in case so that I don't miss anything. Next, let's move this a little bit over here. And we're just basically going to reverse it just like we did before for all the other uh, animations. You may start to notice a pattern here. One note that I do want to add is I'm going to try to make a little bit of an angle for the upper torso. Uh, and then position the head a little bit like this. Alright, and we're gonna do repeat the exact same thing where we kind of had to lift up the torso. It just in this case, we're lifting up the lower torso. You may start to notice a pattern. At the middle keyframes over here, the leg kind of should be shaped like this. So, make a mental note of that or something. But you can also animate these little thing is at the bottom I usually don't really do them I don't I don't know but they do probably if you animate them it will make your whole thing look better like I said I don't really animate R15 that much so all right now we're just gonna add the second half of these this animation and here we go uh, we could probably also add some acing styles, maybe for the arms. And in this case, we can also add the, uh, the acing styles for the upper torso, since it's not like the lower torso where it kind of does matter. So we could just add acing styles to the upper torso. And here's the final result. As you can probably tell, I'm not really that good with R15, but I did it just to show you that it is possible and actually quite easy. With enough practice, you can definitely make something better than this. Admittedly, this is really bad, so... <laughs> For beginners, I also do really recommend that you start with R6 animation. It is the easiest thing to animate, and in my not-so-humble opinion, I think that is the better one. But I digress. Choke it up because you could never shoot